Hi guys, I'm the Panda Man. Welcome back to the Panda Den with some more Panda Tastic action. So this stream that I'm doing right now, that this content is coming from, I'm dedicating to my friend Simon Monkey Island. Uh, Simon Monkey Island. And he, he, check out his YouTube channel below in the description. Uh, he is a, a, a primarily a druid main. He makes some fantastic instructional videos on how to play these decks. So essentially, I'm playing druid today, and this is the first video in this series. Uh, this is Beast Druid, which is kicking the crap out of things in ladder, I believe in all brackets for Diamond 4 through 1, uh, and since the patch came out, this deck is the top tier 1 deck. In America's Diamond 4 through 1, uh, it is the third deck with like a 55% win rate right now, which is obscene, absolutely bloody obscene. That's those, that statistics are kicking from HS Replay. I personally played a very small sample size, only five games, guys. This is, this is, this is a five-game run that I did. I, was, I said I was going to play until I lost, and then I was going to move on because this deck does make me feel dirty. It is so, so strong, it makes me feel like I need a Silkwood shower. So anyways, this deck, I would an 80% win rate, guys. So absolutely, I hope you enjoy this video. If you stick around to the end, there will be a deck summary and a mulligan guide. Enjoy. All right. I don't know what the mulligan is on this deck at all. Uh, I probably could have looked up a mulligan guide. I mean, Herald Angel is fantastic. Pride's Fury feels bad um, early. Both of these feel fine with this in hand. This is fine. This is fine. I may not play the Planet Evidence early. I may, have, I may probably should not play the Planet or kept the Planet Evidence. Probably shouldn't have kept the Planet Evidence. One thing I did think it's funny, very funny with this deck is I don't necessarily think that the the Crooked Cook is as good as maybe composting, but maybe I'm wrong. You always keep Herald, right? As long, especially if you have any kind of um, what do you call it in your hand? Any kind of nature spell in your hand. Because the thing, I mean, when I first played this card, when it first came out, I I, I thought that you, you it was, uh, if you had one in your hand, A, and then I was like, okay, I, I didn't realize, I thought I had to cast it the same turn, nope, none of that, it, the deck, the card is so good, I just, I just pushed this button like this, yorp, and it's, it's already online, that's it, that's all you gotta do, I cast Thorngrow Sentries, Nature Spell, this is now online. Yeah, I just, I just goofed. I was like, there's, there's, it, honestly, I think, I think I, I thought it was just, there's no way it was that good of a card. It's that good of a card. Okay, so I don't have a lot of minions yet, so this is probably not yet where I want to do. I uh, planted evidence this turn first. Composting doesn't feel bad, but also getting a treant, another treant, sounds really good to me right now. Uh, because we need to build a board here. I mean, that's kind of what we're, the old goal here, right? But do I do this of the jerry rig? No, I gotta, you know something? I'm, I'm kind of concerned about this board. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. It's fine. It's fine. And we're just gonna go face. This is an aggro, it's really an aggro smork deck. Okay, what is up with my monitor? Is it, is a cable loose? I think a cable must be loose. I'm checking it. Okay. Do you have an answer for this board? Because you, you, you need one. You, you really need a board answer right now. Okay, take whatever you want. There's nothing there that matters. I, I can I can either if you take the Pride's Fury, I play the Jerry Carpenter in the Mark Mark of the Wild, and I still wreck you. If you take the Jerry Carpenter, it does nothing. If you, it, what do you take? What do you take? Crap! Almost anything you give me is probably better than what you're taking. Not the yeah. So I mean, this is fine. I, this is perfectly fine. Okay. Um. Um, okay, so I got a couple options here. 
The mailbox dancer actually feels really good, but I don't, I don't know. He's still at one? Nah, we go with the Jerry Carpenter, right? Oh, actually, no, we shouldn't have done that, because this is this is actually going to be... I mean, we're splitting this up, which is nice. But it's fine, we're fine. We're fine. We just smork. That was probably not the best play, though. Because this would have been hard for him to just kill. We'd have to get a wildfire to do it, or something else would have to kill it. Uh, and if he, to get the coin, and we'd have an extra coin there, I actually could have played the trog as well, and that's probably would have been a better bet. I should have played the mailbox dancer into the iron deep trog. But we're learning. That's what this is about. Uh, I've never played this deck before. Okay. What do you what do you cancel here? I don't really know what you cancel. I have five mana. I can play everything in my hand. I'm going to start by playing... No, I'm going to start playing the new growth, okay? I'm going to try to try to pop this guy off. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to play the trog. We're going to play the sentries. And we're going to fertilize them. And then we just go face. And he's at five. How do you, how do you address this, dude? How do you address this? And I still have cards in my deck that I can just go over the top for the lethal. I have no spells, dude! Oh, I'm so sorry, Dark Mark Wahlberg. Feels bad, dude. Feels so bad for him. Sorry, dude. There's nothing you could do there. I'm so sorry. I really do feel bad. Let's the hunt begin. Scenarius, guide me to victory. Okay, uh, keep all of this, right? What is the mulligan guide for this deck? <laughs> I haven't even looked. All right, we're looking at this deck. Uh, we're looking at mulligans. Uh, we're playing against a hunter. Let's, this is the first time I've been looked at the, the mulligans for this deck. Um, and we're going first. So, okay. Uh, is this good? Honestly, we're pretty much good with but anything we draw. <laughs> that should not be possible. Um... I'll toss the... I'm gonna toss the Drew of the Reef. Because there's other ones we want more. I don't need more than one turn... One card at this moment. Okay. We don't need to play the Crooked Cook. The Crooked Cook just... I don't know why. It just doesn't feel as good. I mean, it's still... Dude, okay, it's 60-something percent across the board. That's fine. Um... Maybe now that he's played the one one. I'm gonna play. The, I'm actually gonna play the crooked cook. It's not gonna do. It's not. We're not gonna get any real benefit off of it this turn. Or do I play this and just? No, man. We play this. We play this. We play this. We're just gonna go face. It's fine. Because if I play this, it's gonna trigger on one of the one casting spells, right? Yeah. So everything is gonna trigger is one cast cost. So I can act. I'm oh, sorry, no, this guy. So I <laughs> think triggers with one cast cost. So I can play this and then and trigger it. It's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. And we're just making a baby. And that triggers the cook, right? Yep. 
That's pretty sure it was three damage to overall, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not... It's not... I, I may not even play the pride this next turn. We'll see what he does. He's, he needs to clear my board. Which he can, he can clear two, uh, two things off here. <laughs> what? What? That's just silly. This is... Um, Planet of Evans is not bad. Uh, I can do this on turn two. This is fine. This, this is not a great opening turn play. It's not the best, right? But is it is it is it really any bad? Is there anything that's bad to draw? I guess the beaming sidekick is probably the least good, and planted evidence I don't need either. Okay, so I'm just gonna toss it all. We're gonna toss it all. We're fine. Deck is so so cheap. Everything. There's nothing. There's like. There's four cards that are that are high, greater than two cost. We're gonna get a one drop. Okay. You need to kill it this turn, buddy. You can. You've got cards that can do it. Just play it. You need to kill it this turn. I'm going to mark of the wild it next turn. We're going to make it big and fat and juicy if you don't do it. You did not do it. You you failed yourself, sir. I think we just do this. It's fine. Yeah, we're just doing this. It's fine. If that We just made it so hard to kill that any spell he casts now is just going to give me more minions. It's just sick. It's just sick. Okay, so we're playing we're playing aggro 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 versus aggro. We're gonna play the planet evidence first. I'm probably just gonna play the crooked cook here. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna take the soul of forest. I'm not gonna play it this turn. Uh, we're gonna just go and play the the cook to get some extra draw. I mean, so this is now four mana. It's fine. It's fine. I think it's fine. Cause if we get a board out there, we do this. Then we, we maintain the board. Okay. Yeah, you're just giving me dudes, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Really? This is nature, right? Just double checking. I'm gonna double check. That's nature, right? Do I even care about his board? I don't, right? Let's go face. Yeah, let's go face. I th I think I don't even care. Like he can clear, he can literally clear what one minion. I mean, with spells, he might be able to clear more. I mean, I still may living roots this. Oh, okay. So he's. I've got three minions still on board. Yeah, I may living roots this turn. I may just do that. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do? Okay, okay. I was gonna soul the forest this turn. I don't think I need to do it. We're gonna do planted evidence. Um. <laughs> yes, this is happening. That that's happening, guys. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think it matters, dude. I have twelve on board. I got two more in hand. You can't. What do you, what do you do? You can clear one of my dudes. You have to clear one of my dudes. You have to. You have to clear at least one of my dudes. You can do it. You absolutely can. I have lethal if you don't. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. You don't care. Good job. Good job. You did a good job there. Um. And I just killed this. <laughs> or do I kill this? I've got 
Ten on board. Is there any way to get lethal here? I don't think there is. I think Soul of the Forest is the answer. Okay, I'm gonna do... Yeah, we're Soul of the Foresting this turn. I'm just gonna make that harder to remove. I, I know, I, I know, it's one off, one off. I was just like, if I, is there any way to get that one? Because I had, the, I had the living roots in hand, I had the hero power. We are one off lethal. So really, all I need is for something to stick, just one creature to stick, and with with the soul of the forest. I'm not sure he has. I, I still, I think I have lethal next turn. I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, you removed a guy. Congratulations. <laughs> this is obscene. Why didn't you use your power first? Oh, okay, okay. No, I still want to use my power first. No, no excuse. Ugh, these are ruined. Okay. I, I, you lose. <laughs> this tech is obscene! All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I, it, the deck is absolutely obscene. Again, I had I only played a small sample size because I honestly this isn't my style of deck. Uh, I'm doing this mostly it is because it's druid. I'm playing a druid theme thing right now. But also, it needed to be mentioned because it is a tier one deck since the patch came out. This deck is absolutely obscene. I, I had a five sam five game sample size with eighty percent win rate, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, and it's it just I, the only thing I ever had any problems with, and I think that the only you're gonna have problems with, which again, it's not even a guaranteed loss. But the only deck I had any problems with was Ping Mage, Spooky Mage. So guys, this deck is pretty simple on what you're doing. Uh, you're essentially just trying to basically tempo out a bunch of stuff as fast as possible. So uh, the mulligans are generally what you're looking for is things like Iron Deep Trogs, Druid of the Reefs, you're looking for peasants. Uh, again, if you're playing against Demon Hunter or Mage, you might not want to play a peasant. You might you can play the peasant on against Mage if you are going first because it'll force him to coin to ping your dude. Otherwise, you're looking also Slither Spears. Uh, the, the concept is you basically just want to vomit out all these little one drops. So you put these little one drops on the table because if you'll notice, there are only four cards that cost more than two mana in the entire deck. And that's the Herald of Nature and the Pride's Fury, which we'll get to in a second. The deck then has only eight, count them, eight cards. Eight. That's 12 cards this deck are over the cost of one. What? What? Right, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yes, that's ridiculous. Everything else is a one drop or zero drop. There's 16 one drop cards in this deck. So anyways, so you play these, you need to get a board built. And the idea is you try to get the board out there. You kind of vomit it out there. Uh, in the mulligan, you also might want to keep a Jerry Carpenter. Because if you play the Jerry Carpenter, it's going to basically split either Sow the Soil or... Um, Living Roots. So you'll get two spells that are super duper cheap. They're only one mana. One of them produces two 1-1 one, one saplings or two damage over the top if need be. Uh, and the other one, so the Soil, gives you a 2-2 two, two Treant or gives all of your minions plus one attack. And that's not a until end of turn. That is plus one attack. This 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 deck this deck is gardening. That's what this deck is. Uh, and you play things like Thorgo Sentries and stuff, but you need to keep in mind that when you the, the real finisher for this deck is either the Herald of Nature or the Pride's Fury. So now, I have had some serious mental hang-ups, I don't know why, with Herald of Nature. When it very first came out, I, for some reason, thought you had to have a nature spell in hand when you cast it, because I just didn't read the card. And I did read the card, I did. It just for some reason my brain just didn't accept that it's actually the way it's, how it's, it's written. So what you have to do is you, this card has to be in your hand and you have to play a nature spell, any nature spell. Now, so in the nature, in the, in the realm of nature spells, you've got the thorn growth sentries, you've got the marks of the wild, you've got your, your uh, again, the sow the soil or the, the uh, planted evidence or living roots. Uh, even, no, no, not aquatic form. Any, the, the, any of those others are nature spells. So you have to cast one of those while you have the Herald of Nature in your hand. And now suddenly on, 
it's active. Now you do not have to play that. You play the spell in advance before you play the creature. You can play the creature the next turn, two turns later, whatever. Because you want to play this when you've got at least two or three creatures, or probably three or more creatures on the board. You play it. You give everybody plus one, plus two, and basically slap, 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 slap to the face. Uh, outside of that, you've got the Pride's Fury. Pride's Fury is basically like a buffed up version of Herald Nature. Now, Herald Nature's got some advantages. A couple advantages to it is the fact that you're also placing a 3 3 body on the board. It does not get its own buff, but that's okay. Uh, the Pride's Fury, unfortunately, I do need to point this out because this is something I made a mistake on. You're not going to see it in the video. Uh, I don't think, did I? I don't remember if it was in the video or not. You, you may have seen it already. But the Pride's Fury is not a nature spell. Neither is aquatic form. So, neither one of these are going to trigger the Herald of Nature. Keep that in mind. But otherwise, basically, you're just tempoing out creatures. You want to get the creatures on the board uh, and, and just vomit out stuff. Now, the aquatic form, something I want to keep in uh, note to you again, as we mentioned before, there are only four cards in the entire deck that cost more than two. So don't play aquatic form on turn one. I mean, you can, you can. You are almost guaranteed to draw get a card that costs one when you play aquatic form. But if you wait till turn four, you're guaranteed to get any card in your deck you're going to draw. Uh, if you play it on turn three, there's only two cards in your deck you can't get. That's a pretty damn good return. The value on this deck is, is just insane, and it just it gets to throw a lot of damage face. Again, this deck is obscene. It is absolutely a climber. You can get Legend, no problem with it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed as much. I hope you enjoyed the video as well. Uh, if you like the deck code, the deck code will be below in the description. Uh, while you're there, hit us with subscribe. It's absolutely free for you, and it helps us at Fantastic Gaming so very much, and we absolutely appreciate it. If you like the video, hit us with a like so we know we're doing the right things. And if there's any comments you want to leave below, if you've done any kind of modifications to the deck that you think actually make it better, please leave that below. If you did really well with this deck, leave your win rate below. I want to. I just want to see how people are doing. If you're doing badly with it, leave the win rate below. I want to know. I want to know why. And if you do, if you are doing badly, tell me why as well, if you will. Just give me a real quick explanation of what what happened to you. Uh, is it just I hit ping mage all the damn time? Because that's again seems to be the biggest problem with this deck. Uh, but outside of that, go ahead and do that. Uh, and I guess I hope you enjoy this content and uh, all our other content. And uh, yeah, remember the most important thing in gaming, in life, and everything. Stay positive. Have a great one.